Aside from bouldering, top roping is the simplest form of climbing, and it is certainly the safest form of climbing. However, there are still things that can go wrong. You need to do a really good safety check, right? Beware of user error, and beware of things that you could knock loose that could fall from above and hurt yourself or somebody else. Be mindful of the fact that your climbing rope is stretchy. So when you're first leaving the ground, you need an extra tight belay and also above ledges and other obstacles where rope stretch could cause you to hit something. Be mindful that if you go too far to one side or the other, you're generating swing potential. Basically though, if you have a good anchor and an attentive belay or you did a good safety check, you can just be up there focusing on the moves. You don't have to be worrying about gear or afraid of falling. So it's a great way to practice. And it's a really simple way to climb. You can do it even if you lack the skills, gear, and experience to go and lead the routes that you want to do. Certainly the most complicated part is getting to the top and building that bomb-proof anchor. You might want to ask around, consult the guidebook, ask around at the local gear shop, and figure out where a good crag is that you can safely get to the top and set up with the gear and knowledge that you have. If you've got that bomb-proof anchor, another consideration is getting that master point out over the edge. A lot of people will build perfectly good anchors in order to top rope, but they don't think about what the rope's running over on its way over the lip. And you can really tear up your rope and tear up your elbows belaying because of all the drag in the system. So these are all things to think about, but basically if you've got your top rope set up correctly, once you're up there climbing, you can just climb. It's really fun. It's a great way to practice.